Uh, how else do I put this? Glossrick is God. Oh, what money's Fox Ryan Till? Nicky and I been Fox, and um, I'm. I've, I've said multiple times I should do a review on this freaking book over here. Um, and I was thinking, you know what? Before I actually do a review on it, because I was going to do a review without finishing the entire thing. I only read bits and pieces that I wanted to read. And as guys tell me, I should probably stop doing that whenever I read things. In any case, <laughs> so I actually, you know, started reading a bit more about it. And there's a little part in this book that's, Kind of interesting. Um, there's a part where you actually have a bit of Star's spell book in it. And again, this book is apparently canon. This this um this book is apparently canon with Star Versus. And um while going to it, I found this bit, which is like the yellow pages for Muni and stuff like that. And I I first thought, thought that Hecapoo wasn't in this book. I Because usually each character has an entry, but she herself did not have an entry, or at least a big entry, until I looked at this. And I was like, okay, sweet, Hecapoo's in this thing. Sweet, I love Hecapoo. Also, it is spelled H-E-C-K instead of H-E-K. I thought it was... Hang on. But anyways, um, so... Her, her number, her thing says... That's, and this is what started me thinking this little bit. Um, at some point, it was clear that humans would need a way to traverse the different dimensions in the multiverse. So I created Hecapoo. And then I was... One, I was thinking, okay, wait, who the fuck is saying this? <laughs> so I actually had to go back a bit in this, in the actual spellbook parts, and basically throughout this entire bit of this book, um, it is Glossaric talking to the reader, or Star, or us. And, um... It does give some information, one, like, uh, apparently, uh, Star's grandmother, who actually is, appears in this book, um, but part of the High Council. But also, he talks about everything about magic and stuff, and how he actually created the High Council, being that he created Hecapu, uh, Lechmet, the goat guy, um, uh, Omnitraxis Prime, the multiverse cre- guy, R Romulus. He created... All of them. And not only that, it's actually he actually gives a little bit of backstory on him. How he was actually created by magic itself. He was actually created as kind of a medium for magic. Oh, where the fudge is it? Um But he basically says in this book that he for he has no idea why, but he was created by magic himself. And he created all of these beings. In other words, all of the Magic High Council, except for maybe the Mumins, are are um, created by Glossaric. Glossaric created the High Council, who, again, Omnitrex Prime set, keeps all of the multiverse, at least the Starverses section of the multiverse, um... Balance. He, he makes it to where they don't blow up. We have Hecapoo who opens portals to all those multiverses to allow humans to traverse them. Romulus is apparently just a muscle. He, he just, it, they don't actually say what his, what he does, but most likely it's just, you know, capturing bad guys. Um, Lachmet, they never actually say either. Um, but, yeah, he was actually created by magic and then was able to then create these godlike beings, these, these, the Magic High Council, and god dang, that's just one that kind of blows the one thing out of the water a bit, though, it is kind of a question though, like, I don't know what, how I feel about that, because <laughs> one, he's just like, I don't really like Glossark all that much, that's a, kind of a cool backstory for him, but then it's also, again, like, why? Um, I am. I don't know. It's just the character. I really don't like all that much. Sometimes he just seems like an a hole or something. Like that. And then it turns out he's actually God. He's basically God of this place. And even then, like, it even kind of reads a little like a Bible a little bit. And I don't mean that. In, I mean that in a sense like humans are the main thing that they follow. Um, he does everything for the humans. And I'm just thinking. Well, what I mean, well, 
at least watch it read that. I'm just kind of thinking, like, why exactly does he do this for the humans? He said it was created by Magic himself. And he was trying to... Also, I just looked at just how pony heads of family. Um, he was created by it. Come on, dipping down. Because right here, he talks about uh, how to use magic. About, like, the whole dipping down thing and stuff. Let's see. Um, I mean, just created their eight balls. Uh, your book is an important thing. Da, 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 da. Spell the Warnicorn Stampede. Oh. Also, yeah, they even should teach you how to do the Warnicorn Stampede dance. Um, thing, da, la, 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 la. You can sprint at least. Really I'm trying to see if I can find where exactly it said it. Uh, dipping down, da, 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 the right stone, salt stone, da, da, da. Oh, well. It's like, I can't, I can't see it right now, so sadly, next time I should freaking put a freaking thing to sh look at this. Uh, in any case, the, just reading that bit, wait, well, the most important thing that I didn't know about it is your picture. But in any case, yeah, the glossary created all of that stuff, and then he is also yet still a servant to the book, and also those who wield the magic book and the wand. So, I'm, I don't know how to feel about that, because it's, it's kind of, one, if you have godlike powers, okay, yeah, I can kind of see, like, the whole, you know, I'm trying to protect everything, but then also, it is kind of a backtrack a little bit, it goes, okay, if all of this started, the multiverse, if it collapsed on it, it can collapse on itself, but what happened when you weren't, was, never mind. It's just kind of strange. It is kind of strange, and it's kind of the whole, well, in the Flash, the Speed Force bullcrap, but, um, uh, I don't know. I promise I haven't seen that review of Flash. But, um, it is kind of a strange thing, and it, though it is, it, like, it's something in a book which I want to know if that's going to pop up in the show at any point in time, or is it going to be, like, Kyber Crystals, where, um, or like the not Ky well yeah Kyber Crystal was like in the movies of Star Wars, up until Rogue One, they never actually ever mentioned Kyber Crystal in the in the movies and stuff like that, and which are what the power of the lightsabers. I'm I'm bringing this up. I have a point. Don't worry. Um, they bring, they don't actually bring it up, and they bring it up in the expanded universe, the books, books. And, but then later on, they just kind of retcon it. But, um, retcon some of it, which actually kind of like the re retcon of it. And they solidify Kyber Crystals in the show as well, in the show Clone Wars, as well as Rebels and the newest movie, um, um, uh, uh, Row One. So, like, I wonder, but, like, again, like, it took that long for those things to actually ever be mentioned in the series. So I kind of want to know if this is going to be mentioned in it, because one, that kind of brings up a whole thing, like, one, that kind of brings up that, I guess, if Hekapu and everyone else from the, uh, High Council, if they're all created by Glosseric, that then means that Glosseric most likely can bring them back to life, since, you know, they got all their magic or mana or whatnot sucked out of them at the end of, um, the season finale, spoiler alerts, I... I guess. Um, I'm trying to think. I just remembered, I think I remember where it was talking about this bit. It was talking about magic, where magic is, da da da. That magic is odorless, tasteless, smellless. Um, oh, here we go. Um, you see, magic is not like anything else. It has no language, no color, no shape, no smell, no feel. And for whatever reason, the universe has fabricated me, one glossary, to take all the formless, odorless, colorless, flavorless abstractions of magic and present it to you like this. So, a little bit here missing. Uh, cold dream. And that's where he explains the whole thing about, like, he says in the thing about dick being deep down in hobo soup. But, um, cold dream equals universe. Steven Universe! Steven! But in any case, um, yeah, it was just so strange thing, and just, like, it was just a strange thing that I wanted to bring up, because, again, like, I, I originally was going to go in there, because, like, I didn't read the Ponyhead section yet, 
So I just wanted to. So I was gonna like read that section, but looking through, I found the this and I'm like, oh, look, Hekapu. And then I ran back. What? <laughs> it's. I don't know. It's a strange thing, and like it, it does bring up some questions. Like one, he's created by the universe, and in turn, he creates godlike beings. If anything, it's very similar to Greek mythology, Greek Roman mythology, where Zeus, or I believe it's Greek mythology for Zeus. Um, I may have totally wrong, but um, where Zeus is created by, or is it? It's Gaia and... I forgot what else it was. Kronos. I believe it was Gaia and Kronos. They create the Titans. And then so the Titans create the Olympians. And then the Olympians... Uh, rebel. But um, it's kind of a similar fashion like that. Like, the universe created Glosseric. And then Glosseric created the High Council. It's kind of Greek mythology-ish in that regard. With, like, again, like, they create this all power being, And then also... I guess that kind of makes sense on why he just really doesn't care about some things. But then also, it does bring up the fact, like, wait, why doesn't he just make his own pudding? Why doesn't he just do this? Why doesn't he just do that? I guess maybe it's because he knows what's going to happen, so he kind of does it. Like, maybe, like, for whatever reason, he needs Marco to hate him. Or for whatever reason, this needs to happen. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking way too much into that. But probably not. But, um, probably. But in any case, it's... It's just a strange little thing that I wanted to bring up. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think about this? Um, I might, if anything, I might actually go through different entries and any import, quote unquote important entries I want to look, any important entries I come across, I might bring up into a video of it. And then I might bring them to a video. I might do like a whole review of the entire book itself. But then still bring up like the more, more important parts. That way, you know, you guys get a better idea of what's happening in this universe for season three or whatever is coming up next. But anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch videos that I've done, links are on my face, subscribe much over there somewhere. But yeah, Glosseric is apparently God, or at least is one of the most powerfulest beings in this universe, which again it's still a question of like, wait, what? They say that crystal wasn't natural, but it was created by magic, which is natural. So then shouldn't that crystal on his forehead be natural? He was fabricated by magic. I don't know. I have no idea. But tell me what you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Share on the video. Then turn on Facebook. Share over there somewhere. Sorry, I keep doing that. But thank you for watching. And just tell me what you have in the comments below. It's... So I'm going to get your mind around. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later. This little a-hole is apparently God. What the fuck?